All right, guys, welcome back. Um, I've had some questions from some of my students and some subscribers about how to use Photoshop to place um, an image on the right side or the left side of a page, like in a landscape, which is, you know, horizontally laid down paper, um, so that when you print it and you bind the page into a book, you're not cutting anything in half or so that's what we're going to do today so photoshop is open and over here on the left hand side you're going to hit where it says create new and then this box pops up and i like to do um, this custom one it's 11 inches wide eight and a half inches in height and then i want 300 ppi which is pixels per inch um, white background and it should already default to RGB 8-bit which is it's fine and you just hit create and what this does it will bring up a virtual piece of paper that is the same size as a standard piece of copy paper if you are in the US if you are not in the US then you can you can edit that size before you open it because I think you guys are a little bit I think it's like 11 and a half inches long or something like that. So anyway, but you know how to do that because I just showed you. <laughs> okay, so here is our paper. The first thing that I like to do if I'm going to be setting something on the right or the left, I mean, we know that five and a half, so about right here is our middle. But to make sure that we're really getting it in the middle, go up to the top here where it says view and click on that and then go down to where it says new guide and hit that and then you'll have some orientation horizontal and vertical where you can set up guidelines so i want a vertical guideline in the middle which is five and a half inches and i'm going to hit ok and then this blue line shows up right here and it goes straight down the middle if you want to do one that goes the opposite direction just hit horizontal and then half of eight and a half is four and a quarter. So 4.25, hit okay. And then you have a guideline that goes across the horizontal. I don't need that today, but that's how you do that if you want it to. All right, I'm gonna get rid of that one real quick. All right, so to put a image on either the right or the left, go back to file up here, top left corner and hit that and then go down and hit open. And if you have put the image on your desktop, which I, I always suggest that people, if they're gonna be working with an image, go ahead and just put it when you save it from wherever you're saving it from, put it on your desktop so it's easy to find. I'm gonna roll down here and I have saved a carrot in it, all its carroty goodness. So I just click on it and then I hit open and it's going to open in a completely new window, which is totally cool. Then I'm going to go up here again to the top where it says select and I'm going to hit all. And then I go to edit and hit copy. And then I go back to that first page because here's our carrot page and here's the page that we open. So let's click on that one because these are your going to be your um, your different pages up here so as many pages you have open you'll have little tabs just like you do windows if you're um, looking through the internet so we went back to here we're going to go back up to edit and then we're going to go down and we're going to hit paste and there it is there is your carrot okay let's say the carrot is too big or too small ah what are you going to do okay hit Control t or I believe that is Command T on a Mac, and it will open up this box with little sliders um, all the way around it. Now, we want to keep the carrot this shape. We don't want it to get too fat or, you know, too short or whatever. So we're going to go back up to the top, and right below that View button, you're going to see this little chain link, and I want you to hit that. And what that does is it locks in that aspect ratio so that when you slide the corner sliders back and forth, uh, it doesn't matter if you make it bigger or littler, it's gonna stay that same carrot size and shape. 
So I'm gonna pull it over here to the right hand side just like I did in the coloring book pages that I made for the uh, Graphics Fairy Design Team project. And if you pull it over, you will notice that some beautiful little lines pop up. And so this shows you, look at that, look at that pink line showing up. That shows you that you are even from top to bottom. And you can, you can make, if you want a little carrot, you put it up here if you want. You want, you know, you want the carrot to fill the page, you know, you know, make your carrot fill the page. Um, but that's how I do that. That's how I set those, set those images on the right hand side. Alternatively, you can put one on the left hand side, it's, you know, it's whatever floats your boater, right? So um, after you're done messing with it, changing its size and pulling it around, um, this cursor, by the way, my cursor, my move around cursor, is going to be this top one. If you go all the way to the left-hand side, you're gonna have this toolbar. Well, your toolbar should be over here because <laughs> that's where I think it should be. But maybe your toolbar is over here. Some people like it over here. Um, so it's, but it's this top, it's like this iron cross, this top one. Um, so, oops, I messed that up, sorry. So you just hit that and that is your moving things around uh, button. And so, and then the next one down is a marquee. To, we'll go through this later maybe. You, you, didn't, you didn't ask that question. So the next question should be, um, how do we save it? How do we print it? So before we print or save, um, I want you to flatten this because we have two layers. If you look on the bottom right hand side of my screen, you will see that there is a layer one, which is the carrot that we pasted on top of this paper. And then we have our original paper. So they are together. Either you can left click on the background and hit flatten image, or you can go way over here up to the tippity top on the left and hit layer and at the bottom of this box is also another flatten image um, option then if you want to print you go to file and scroll down to print and then that will open up your print button and this is your layout so this is my printer this is my laser printer you can open up this print settings if you need to change anything around. This is the uh, um, portrait and landscape. Since this is the landscape, that's what we want it in. That's what you need to leave it in. And then you just hit print. That's all, that's all you gotta do. If you wanna save it, go to file and go down to save as. And then again, put it on your desktop. And then that way you can put it somewhere else later. You can type, I will save it as carrot two because I did this before and I messed up on the recording. So this is, this is take two guys, this is take two. Make sure it is a JPEG if you're gonna save it as a printable image, something that it's easily, easily usable. And then just hit save. It's gonna pull up the options for your JPEG. It's gonna pull up your quality. If um, you want it max, that's gonna be your biggest file, the most, um, the most resolution. You can pull it down and make it low resolution if you want, but you know why, why would you wanna do that unless it's massive? And then you just hit okay and you are good to go. So that's all you do, it's simple as that. Print these puppies out, Bob's your uncle, you have yourself a coloring book. All right, guys, thank you so much. Um, I hope this helped out some of you folks today, and I will catch you guys in the next video.